Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to make my children's favorite uh, fried bread. We're gonna make some sesame deep fried bread. So first thing first, I have a cup of brown sugar, a half cup of white sugar, and then four cups of self-rising flour. So if you're making some uh, different bread, I suggest to use um, rising bread because you don't need to wait to allow to rise your dough. Okay, so next I am going to put two teaspoon of baking soda, just two teaspoon. Okay. And then two teaspoons of baking powder. Then a teaspoon of salt. Then a half cup of sesame seeds. What we're using is the roasted sesame seeds. It's not the raw one. So we're gonna do half cup. So half cup of sesame seed, roasted sesame seed. Then we're gonna mix all the dry ingredients. Okay. So this is how I make my sesame sweet bread. Okay, just mix it. Okay, now we're gonna add our two cups homemade buttermilk. Okay, so I make my own buttermilk. It's really easy to make a buttermilk. If you are using two cups of buttermilk, so just the 2% milk, and then added a teaspoon of vinegar or lemon. Allow it to sit for 15 minutes, then be ready to use, okay? This is so simply to make the sesame deep fried sweet bread, okay? And then once we are mixing this really well, we're allowing to sit aside for 15 minutes before start cooking, okay? So I think I'm gonna use my hand with this spatula. I'm just going to mix it, okay? I love using the self-rising because I don't need to wait for hours to rise my dough, okay? So I'm gonna need this until... I'm gonna add another cup of um, flour, guys, because it's kind of, I uh, put too much of the milk. I guess it's supposed to be a cup and a half, but I tried to, two cups of buttermilk, but I'm gonna add another cup of self-rising flour, okay? So this would be five cups of self-rising flour, two cups of buttermilk, and the rest are the same measurement, okay? So, I will put in the description below the measurement for all the ingredients. Okay, so I'm just going to mix this here. These are my grandkids, not grand, my grandkids, some of my grandkids, but some of it don't like the deep fried bread, but my kids, they use this, you know, they eat this for their breakfast before going to work with coffee. So in the Philippines, we use this, uh, we eat this with snacks or breakfast, whichever. So yeah. This is really, really good.
Okay guys, so this is it. And I'm gonna put this aside for an hour before I'm gonna start cooking. So I just allow the flour to rest for an hour. It's not like, because you're gonna soft rising. So there we go. Thank you, thank you so much guys. I hope you like this simple um, recipe if you wanna make some sweet bread at home for snacks or breakfast. So this would be a perfect one. Again, thank you so much. May God bless you all. Take care guys, bye-bye.